Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another robbery off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks. Sampler B, Series B's I've been doing for the one hour. I go over there, travel food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. And, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This one's a bit of a technicality. We're there. We'll see how it goes. But anyway. Uh, yes, indeed, folks. It's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my very hot truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight a super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Well, boom, it's my Mega Man shirt. One of my Mega Man shirts. Mega Men shirt, as you, if you will. Uh, I love Mega Man. I grew up with the franchise, like, starting all the way back with the OG games on the NES, eventually making my way to the X games on the Super Nintendo. Then, uh, when I got my PlayStation, the very first game that I got, I got it with my PlayStation, was my copy of Mega Man Legends. Eventually, I kind of paused a little bit just because, like, they were doing some weird stuff. I still bought, like, the games that were coming out. It took me a little bit longer to get into the Mega Man Zero games, just because I didn't have a lot of handheld stuff at that time. But I did eventually get into those. And you had, like, the Battle Network stuff, which I never really got too into. It was kind of weird, but uh, I still love Mega Man. That's why I represent him whenever I can, because, folks, he's a super fighting robot. do 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 Mega Man. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Why is it a bit of a technicality? What are we doing here? Well, folks, I'm counting this as a sub-sandwich review. And with it being a sub-sandwich review, I have to go over there. I have to preface things just a little bit. Number one... When I do sub-sandwich reviews, it's a thing because I've been going on sub-sandwich adventures for over half a year now. Started out with little chain locations, eventually moving into uh, proper Italian delis, gas stations. If there's a sub-sandwich around, I'm going to try it. That's what I've been doing. That's number one. Number two, I have an entire playlist for just my sub-sandwiches called Subs for Subs. So if you're ever interested, that's where all my sub-sandwiches are. All my sub-sandwich reviews. Very final thing, folks, Sunday is sub day. That is super important because Sunday is the day that I go over there and I upload my sub sandwich reviews. It's just my little kitschy thing to try to make it, you know, a little bit more fun for you fine folks, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so I go over there every Sunday. You're going to get usually at least two, if not three, sub sandwich reviews. That's how we do this whole thing. But, also... You're occasionally going to see me pat myself down a little bit. It is annoyingly hot, and unfortunately, my phone picks up my uh, my air conditioner noise when I fucking have that on, and it's been bugging people in videos, and I don't blame them, so I'm just going to deal. But anyway, what am I reviewing? Why is it a bit of a technicality? Well, folks, we're reviewing something, and this is the first time. Boom! It's from Charlie's. Charlie's Cheesesteaks. Boom, that's cheesesteak. This is their classic cheesesteak, which, ugh, I got a menu. Oh, well, it's just their Philly cheesesteak. It's not their old school cheesesteak. It consists of steak, grilled onions, grilled peppers, mushrooms, and provolone with lettuce, tomato, mayo, and pickle. I just got it with everything as standard because that's usually how I like to review my stuff. Even though I'm not a huge pickle guy, you folks know I'm not a big pickle guy. But I got one of these. It is one of their smalls. I forgot to get the uh, how much it cost, so I apologize for that. I try to have that available. But, um, yeah, so it's a bit of a technicality because the question became, is a cheesecake, or is a cheesesteak, cheesecake, is a cheesesteak a sub sandwich? And I'm going to say yes. I think it's just, it's a specialty regional sub sandwich but it's still fundamentally big long sandwich with two big old pieces of bread and some stuff inside it so i'm going to count it as a sub sandwich maybe you folks will disagree that's fair enough but i'm just gonna go with it anyway let's try a thing because fuck me sideways is it warm in here all right let's open it up all right and let's see can we get a ah. Best, but 
Maybe from the other side? I feel like that'll do a little bit better. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's try out a Philly cheesesteak from a company that I believe is based in Ohio. Yeah. And kudos to my friend Mark, by the way. Thank you, Mark, because you're actually the one who brought this place to my attention. I'd never heard of Charlie's before. And it turns out they just built one not too far away from where I live. Alright, that's not bad. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Um, there's a pickle. I will say, even though I'm not a big pickle guy, that's a good tasting pickle. So I can kind of go with it on it. Um, here's the thing. It's not bad. I'm enjoying it. But I have very mixed feelings on it because, like I said, I got it as standard with everything on it, the way that they prepare it. The fundamental problem that I'm running into is that with the tomato, the pickle, and the lettuce, I feel like it's kind of muting the flavor of the actual cheesesteak. Because the first bite I took was like basically just cheesesteak. And I feel like that, for me, was definitely the most flavorful and best part. Now, the rest of it, I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to lettuce, tomato, and stuff like that. But it's one of those things where it needs to work with the sandwich. And I feel like a cheesesteak, and to be fair, I'm not... You know, I've never been to Philly or anything like that. I'm not, you know, a cheesesteak expert man. But I kind of feel like a cheesesteak really should just be this, like, decadent, like, you know, ridiculous just meat and cheese. And I think, you know, maybe they use onions or peppers typically or whatever. I, I don't know, like I said. I don't know that, like, all the greens and stuff really help it. But... It doesn't hurt. Like, the, the vegetables are actually fresh. They taste nice and everything. If I was treating it specifically as, like, just a sub sandwich with no cheesesteak affiliation, I think I would be more okay with it. But I feel like with the cheesesteak itself, I don't know. I think it kind of hurts it a little bit. Because, like I said, you want the cheesesteak. That's really what you want. I'm going to take the pickle off. Yeah, I just feel too much filler. Because the cheesesteak part is the best part, far and away. That's really what you want to focus on. All the extra stuff, well, it does taste good. And again, if I wasn't gauging it by what I feel a cheesesteak is typically supposed to be, I'd be less harsh on it, but yeah, I just feel like it's, if I were going to get this again, it would definitely be minus all of like the lettuce and tomato and stuff. I would just go straight cheesesteak because I think that's definitely the best incarnation of this for me personally. Um, other things to take into account. The bread is very okay. It's not bad by any stretch, but it is... I wouldn't consider it particularly great bread. It's okay. It gets the job done. It does a job of being bread. 
but compared to like some sub locations and stuff, it doesn't, it's not as, you know, I like crispiness on the outside and then, you know, kind of soft on the inside. Yeah, I wasn't really getting crispiness, you know, it's just very kind of, you know, one general texture and, uh, and flavor, but not bad, not bad. Uh, and as for like the cheese steak itself, it was tasty. Again, I don't know if it's two questions have to be asked, folks. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I will say this, I'm going to fucking move. I was going to do this here for the, because I got two more things to review from this place. I got to find another place to do this. It's just way too hot. But, would I get it again? Um, maybe, but I would need to adjust it. Because again, it's like, you know, I, I, I don't know where Charlie's falls on like the, the list of cheesesteak locations, you know, like the people really like I mean, obviously, they're successful, so people enjoy them. But I have to admit, like, I was expecting more. I think it's not bad, but I would definitely need to tweak this one if I was going to get it again. I would not get it with all of the uh, all the veg and stuff. I think that just, it, it weighs it down. Like, it does kind of nice, you know, freshen it up a little bit, but I don't think you want that from a cheesesteak. I want, I think you want it to, you know, taste like a heart attack. Uh, as for recommending it, I mean, it's not bad. But I just get the feeling like, I mean, obviously it's going to be based on where you're at and everything. It's not a bad experience for what it is. It is still a tasty enough sandwich. But I really do feel like a cheesesteak should be something really special. And I don't feel like this is that. Like, and again, it's like I haven't really, you know, I haven't had like an official cheesesteak cheesesteak. But, you know, being from Illinois, you know, we kind of have our own sort of equivalent with that being like, uh you know, the Italian beefs, and it's like, I want an Italian beef to taste fucking special, you know, I don't want some bargain basement, you know, basic bitch uh, Italian beef, and I kind of feel like that's what Charlie's is a little bit, you know, like, and I'm not, I don't want to be mean about it, but it's just like, I definitely don't feel like it's representing the cheesesteak the way it maybe should be represented, but five things before I get out of here, have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, money, my rest of month, spend this rest of your year, and folks, you can go there, have yourselves a truly cheesesteak tastic rest of your life and hopefully it won't be obnoxiously fucking hot why with the sun i hate the sun so much people are like ah brandon's joking i'm not i hate the sun i don't like the heat i hate fucking summer it's all bad but final two things folks number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's always possible it is however always appreciated but what you do if you can't do all the time i know i can't do all the time here's what you're gonna do folks you're gonna try not to be an asshole folks it's not always the easiest thing to do not being an asshole especially when it's obnoxiously hot you gotta keep patting yourself down, you sweaty motherfucker. Um, but even when we're in the situations that are fr stress frustrating, stressful, etc., take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing, whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're gonna go over there, maybe you're gonna try yourself out uh, a delicious cheesesteak from Charlie's and maybe you'll be trying it out and you'll be like, Brandon, you're an idiot and this is the best cheesesteak in the history of cheesesteak and blah, 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 blah. I mean, first of all, you don't gotta be tossing names around, but, you know, I mean, do what you need to do. I'm not gonna take offense. But, I get the feeling like some folks in Philly would probably heavily <laughs> disagree with you on your opinion. I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying they're wrong. But, don't piss off people from West Philadelphia, okay? You end up having to move to Bel Air. Anyway, or conversely, I don't know, man. Eat a cheesesteak from wherever you want. I don't care. It's too hot. Bye.